Hello everyone in YouTube land. I have a Betamig Hobart 170 here that I'm repairing. I pulled the electronic board out of it. Um, there's four SCRs that are have been replaced on this board and I suspect that some of them are bad. And whoever replaced the SCRs did not do a good job. Some of the traces on the board are not making contact and it's just bad solder. So I'm going to go ahead and try to go ahead and replace all those. And I've checked most of the things in this uh, welder here. The uh, ribbon resistor, it's got about 4.5 ohms so it's in good shape all three capacitors are good all the connections are good so what I've rounded it out to is the cable system itself show you here right away as you can see the uh, copper wire here has gotten hot and this is what supplies the amperage from one end of the cable to the other to the gun end and if this uh, does not, not make good connection your amperage will go through the liner and cause the wire inside the liner the wire feed to jam up. At the tip usually what happens is the tip gets red hot expands and jams up the wire so then it it just jams up and won't move and I cannot weld about more than one inch and, and this happens every time. So the heat is not being controlled uh, no matter where I set the rheostat the heat is not being controlled so the way I'm going to fix this is I'm going to cut it off back to where there's good wire and I'm going to go ahead and clean all this up cut this piece off this crimp and I found copper plumbing supply this piece here which is the exact diameter and it doesn't matter if this stays on it or not so I'm going to leave this on and leaving this on will make a better contact really so the large part I'm going to crimp onto this with uh, shorting the wire shortening the wire back here I'll move all this back to this point and then this crimp will be back here and the inner part where the gas actually feeds through and the liner goes through I'll cut back as well so all of this will be about four inches shorter than it is now and the trigger wires are still in good shape there's nothing wrong with those so I'm going to go ahead and crimp this on there make all that uh, make good contact again the other end I'm going to do the same thing as you can see I've taken this one all apart and cleaned it all up got a new piece of copper here to crimp right there so I'm going to have to probably get two blocks of steel this is a crimper for uh, flaring tubing it holds the uh, copper tube in place and then you flare it with the other part of the tool so I'm going to make something similar to this to crimp those connections these are just a little large for the connections that I need to make or crimps that I need to make so this one's 5 8 so it needs to be a little smaller than 5 8 for it to actually crimp 
the half inch this one here and the other one has to be a little smaller than three quarters for it to crimp down tight so that's what I'll be making uh, similar to what a flaring tool uses and I'll crimp them that way well I wanted to show you this because I have seen nothing on YouTube to tell you exactly how to do it and you can see these wires are also I don't know if you can see it or not but they're they're frayed and burnt up right in here and also this was kinked right here so it actually bent the liner inside and uh, which is not a good thing and you don't want to use this cable to pull the welder to another position somewhere else because it actually stretches the copper wire or tears it so you want to be careful with the cables when you operate the welder um, you want to pull the welder with a handle instead of with the cable here's the electronic board and these components here there's four of them I'm gonna go ahead and replace these I've got a call in to a, a technician at Hobart hopefully he'll give me the values and the uh, numbers on these and with that then I'll be able to replace those probably a cross reference So this is a Beta MIG 170 and there are not very many out there I guess now because people have just given up on repairing these. But with this one everything is going to be in good shape other than the cable um, and the board. So I'm going to take a chance on repairing all this. Well I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good one.